Hello, my fellow dreamers. Attorney Ahmed Yagzan from the American Dream Law Office here. Today, I'm going to tell you all you need to know about conditional residence in the United States. In 1985, Congress passed the Marriage Fraud Act, which established the conditional residence system in the United States. In this video, I will discuss everything you need to know about conditional residence and the best ways to remove those conditions to become a permanent resident in the United States. So you might be wondering, who is subject to the Marriage Fraud Act? Congress passed the Marriage Fraud Act because it was concerned about fraud in the immigration law system. The act applies to any application where the United States citizen or permanent resident petitioner have been married for less than two years at the time of adjudication of the permanent resident petition. For example, the couple gets married on May 1st, 2020. They apply for permanent residence and the application is received by the service on June 1st, 2020. If her application gets adjudicated before May 1st, 2022, she would receive a conditional residence spot. If her petition gets adjudicated after that date, then she would receive the full 10-year permanent residence card without conditions. So you might be wondering, how do I remove conditions on my residence? A conditional permanent resident must apply for removal of conditions within 90 days of the expiration of the conditional permanent residence. This application could be filed jointly with the United States citizen or under an exception, which I will discuss below. What happens if you get divorced? The Immigration and Naturalization Act recognizes that not all marriages last forever. So in cases of divorce, the conditional permanent resident may apply for the removal of those conditions and there are several waivers that are available and for these petitions. These, these waivers include that the marriage was in good faith, but it was terminated. The U.S. petitioner had died since the initial application. The beneficiary entered the marriage in good faith, and she was subjected to extreme cruelty. And that her children would suffer extreme hardship if she were to be removed to her country. A beneficiary does not have to meet all the waiver grounds, but one must meet at least one. Moreover, if the applicant is applying under one of those waivers, he or she does not have to, to wait until 90 days before expiration of the conditional residence and can file at any time. Some people ask, can my husband cancel my conditional residence? A petitioner cannot really cancel a petition to remove conditions. He or she can remove his or her sponsorship of the petition, and, it, and that petition may be converted to a waiver application. An applicant can make subsequent applications for waivers and may allege the waivers at the same time if he or she qualifies. The last question I will answer is, what happens if my petition to remove conditions is denied? If a joint petition is denied, the case will be referred to an immigration court. The immigration court will jurisdiction over your case. The immigration judge may remove the conditions and removal proceedings after a successful trial, or if the applicant files another application with the service. As always, you can call the American Dream Team 24-7 at 1-888-963-7326 to schedule a strategy session with me. Thank you.